Hey guys, what's going on today? I got a video talking about the AMD graphics card that was announced today at Computex just a few minutes ago at the time of recording this. So, the last video I made talked about the R9 480. Well, I was wrong about the name. It's the RX 480. And that's the card that was announced at Computex today. The card is priced at $200, which is pretty much where I expected it to be. But the demonstration that they shown, although really they only gave it like a 15 minute thing, and it was mostly talking about it, they didn't really do a good demonstration. But the demonstration they showed was pretty impressive. They ran dual 480s and was able to outperform the GTX 1080 and Ashes of the Singularity. Now, my thoughts on that are a little iffy because I don't know which, I'm pretty sure the 1080 was the video on the right if you go back and watch the live stream because they were clearly played at different settings. I mean, if AMD was playing at the higher settings and made it look better and it was playing, you know, then good for you, but I feel like they were playing at different settings and they were just like, hey, we got three more frames than NVIDIA did. I feel like that's a little, a little sketchy, but you know, if they really were playing at the same settings, which I kind of doubt, um, then good for AMD. That's really good on them. But um, this graphics card, they spent like five or six minutes talking about how much they really want this to be like that budget card for VR and how it'll perform extremely well in VR which I think is a little interesting um, they seem very heavily focused on being the guys leading uh, VR and I think that's that's kinda cool I'm not necessarily someone who wants to play VR but I've been seeing the response of VR recently and I can understand why they want to take that route and be very VR focused because they can see that it could be the future of gaming. But they focused a lot on saying that they wanted it to be VR and they want to bring the next generation, the next 250 million gamers to the PC, which, yeah, that's... That's probably not going to happen. Consoles are always going to have some presence, I think. The ability to just grab a controller and play and not have to worry about it, I think that's just a simplicity that a lot of people enjoy. But for the most part, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not super impressed because the leaks were pretty accurate. So, you know, whatever. But it is still exciting to see that the RX 480 is $200 and in Crossfire, which would be $400, outperform the 1080 in one game with settings possibly being different. But I don't know. Feel free to go to AMD and look at the live stream that they did. It's, it's kind of cool. These graphics cards are set to be available by June 29th, I believe. I only have two sources that say that. They didn't really announce it. Or if they did, I just wasn't paying attention. I'm being stupid. But those two sources say June 29th, so that's what I'm going to go with. If you guys have any thoughts, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.